Adam, hello. Nice to Hi, meet Frida. you. Hi, Frida. How are you? Nice to meet you too. I'm good, thank you. And I've just been talking to Charity and she sends a lot. Oh, good. So, oh, very nice. Yeah. I am so pleased to see the great back for a, for a third season. I mean, it be, feels like we've waited a while for this. How did you react when you heard that the show was coming back and that Archie was coming back as well? Uh, I was thrilled because, uh, you know, uh, uh, as you just mentioned, it's it's a very close knit group of actors. We all have great admiration, respect and, and love for one another. We've become a bit of a family over the years of filming this show. And I think we all realize how fortunate we are. You've got such a brilliant writer in Tony McNamara. And as actors, you just want a great script, and great characters. And, and he certainly supplied all that. And we're all thrilled, as I hope the audience are, to see where it's going to go, how these characters are going to develop, what, what's unexpected about season three. And certainly there's a lot of unexpected and extraordinary things that happen in season three. So, you know, we were as keen to find that out as anybody else. So, yeah, I was really thrilled when, when we heard we were going to get another go at it. You are one of the most recognisable faces on TV and in films as well. Um, I wondered if you got recognised a great deal when you're off duty, as it were. Well, of course, on The Great, I'm hiding behind a lot of hair. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. A couple but of you're not always. Morning. You're not always in other parts. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um yeah, I do. Uh, you know, and, and people are lovely, you know, uh, if they've enjoyed your work and, and they mention it, it's it's a, it's a it's a huge privilege to be able to to do the work in the first place. And you're doing it to entertain people and amuse them. And um, and if people enjoy your work, it's it, it's absolutely lovely. Um, and uh, it's thrilling that people so enjoy the series um, and and very gratifying when when people like your work. I'm wondering whether you've maybe been mistaken for somebody else. And I hope you won't mind me saying this, and you probably know what's coming. But there is a bit of a resemblance with Ben Whishaw, is there not? I guess there, I guess there is. Um, yeah, there've been there's an actor called Alex Jennings, who I sometimes get fan mail for him. Really? Um, yeah. Um, yeah, they're they're various people. Because I, you know, I'm sort of one of those faces where people either think they know me. Or they know they recognize the face, but they're not sure where from. Um, ben Wisher is a wonderful actor and a, a very good friend of mine. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be uh, mistaken for Ben Wisher. Um, Have you ever yeah. been cast together? I mean, I've, I've got visions of you playing brothers or something like that. I know we haven't it, yet. We're sort of both perfect. hopeful that it might happen at some point, but not yet. We've we put it out there then. We'll put it out there into, <laughs> yeah, into the universe. See, yeah, he's wants. such a wonderful actor, my goodness. He, he is, he is. And of course, you've been in quite a few big TV shows, Breaking Bad, Good Wife, Mad Men, and most recently, that final series or season of Succession, where you were in that election night episode and you got your eyes filled with wasabi, courtesy of Cousin Greg. What was it like being part of, of that amazing show? Were, were you a fan to start with? I was a huge fan of it and a huge admirer of that extraordinary cast and Jesse Armstrong's incredible writing on that show. So we our shoot on the great is, is a sort of six months. It's quite intense and we just finished it. So I was just breathing a big sigh of relief. And then it was, we finished off in, in London. And then it was, can you get on a plane and go to New York and shoot the succession. Of course, I can't say no. Um, and, and the series is so different and it's shot very differently. Um, and, and obviously it is a very different world. So variety is definitely the spice of life. So I was very thrilled and happy to go and play with that extraordinary group of actors. And now I'm in New York, uh, just opened a musical um, called Once Upon a One More Time using this music wow. of Britney Spears. So I'm singing Britney Spears music. Um, so if you want to see Archie and Britney Spears, the collision of that, come to New York. The, the mind boggles at that collision, I have to say. Yeah. Um, Archie is an amazing character, though. I mean, mm. he and it's amazing that he survived so long because he's such a schemer. I mean, would you say he's a born survivor or is it because he's got the man upstairs on his side? Probably all of those things are true. That's a really great way of putting it. I think he's, yeah, I, I hope he's got the man upstairs on his side. 
I think you know, what, what, what attracted me to Archie and what I know Tony McNamara is so interested in is the, the sort of the point of collision between somebody who, who has to be this sort of inhuman figure. He's the head of the Russian Orthodox Church. He's not allowed to be a human being. He's got to be this figurehead. But of course, Archie, as all the characters, is deeply human. And the show explores what it is to be human and all the contradictions that are involved in being a human. Comedy, tragedy, farce, uh, passion, anger, all swirling around at the same time. Nobody is one thing. And I think the tone of the show captures that very essential humanity is that farce and tragedy coexist. Mm -hmm. And they definitely coexist in Archie. And he's also this political scheming character which is something that very much comes to the fore at the beginning of season three, when he and Aunt Elizabeth and, and, uh, and Elle, you know, Elle's character, Catherine, are, are a sort of huddle and become this unit. But, you know, as always, we know with Archie that there's another agenda going on and he's looking out not for himself, but for the church. Um, so it's been fascinating to play all that. Um, he has got, of course, that look of a, a Russian holy man, which everybody associates with Rasputin, let's face yes. it. I wondered if there yes. was any element of Rasputin in there, apart from the beard and the cross and the and the hair. I think he's definitely a, a, an amalgamation of various things. And, and certainly Rasputin is 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 heavily in there. Um, the, the look was it was very interesting when we first started the show because I I you know they, we were looking at pictures of, of of that look and I was really concerned that it could be like cousin it in in the Adams family and it's just a ball of hair that walks on is there anybody you know under there yeah. um, and I was very concerned that we can connect to Archie that we understand we can we can sort of you know read his eyes and and connect with a human being. Um, so we, they came up with this sort of brilliant look. And for me as an actor, I go in each, each morning and I spend a couple of hours in hair and makeup. I go in as Adam and then gradually the beard is, is created and put on the wig, the sort of bags under my eyes, the dark robes. And then we walk into these extraordinary sets. People assume it's filmed in a palace somewhere, but those sets are created by our production designers. And, uh, you know, 50% of the job is already done. And then I just have to inhabit and embody the character, play Tony's wonderful words. So, you know, we're really given every every possible assistance to create something as extraordinary uh, uh, as we possibly can. And we know you best, I think, for playing supporting roles, character roles. Do you find those the most satisfying, the smaller roles, or is there a, a lead role that you've kind of always wanted to play, but it hasn't happened yet anyway? I, do, I don't really think about it in those terms. I ju it's just, is the character interesting? Do I think I can do a decent job and, and fully inhabit that character? And Archie is definitely one of those. Um, I, there's, there's not sort of roles that I've sort of, you know, burning to play. Um, I'm always surprised and delighted to see what comes next. Um, I've been very fortunate to have a very long career. I've been doing this since I was a little kid. Um, and I've done a huge variety of things. I love going from theater to film to TV. They're essentially the same, but, but technically very different. So I feel very fortunate that I've had a very varied career. And uh, long may it continue. So there's been speculation already about a season four. Uh... Would you want to carry on playing Archie? I think I know what the answer is going to be to that. <laughs> well, I would. I mean, it, you know, I think Tony always envisioned four seasons of this. So um, we'd be thrilled. The writing is so good. It's a terrific bunch of actors. So and as long as people are enjoying it and, and are curious to see what happens next, um, I think we'd, we'd all be very happy. But uh, we don't know yet. And we'll, we'll wait and see. Fingers crossed. Fingers Adam, crossed. thank you so much for your, for your time. It's been lovely to talk to you. And like I say, love the series. So glad to see it back. Thank, thank you, you so much. It's lovely to talk to you. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.